This ain't no intro, this the entree. It's Vach Lombardi. What's good? We're here with another Dallas Cowboy video. We got training camp right around the corner, and of course, I'm continuing to do more film on these guys that we should be keeping eyes on. Today, you read the title. We're going to look at Christian Covington. Now, I wanted to take a deeper look at him because I feel like he's not just going to be one of these guys that's going to comply to be second team. He's not just going to lay down and let Antoine Woods be the first guy and just get all the minutes. Christian Covington could be fighting for a first team spot. So, I wanted to take a look at some film grab grab a few points and show y'all what i learned all right let's jump into it first of all shouts out to merch gang shop.spreadshirt.com slash shop lombardi that link is in the description if y'all want to show your support show some love grab some merch get a shirt all this is dope i got one of each of these uh hey man go get you one and go in uh go in the chat box and hashtag merch gang or whatever let's get to some film this. the houston texans ran this three four and they put them in every single technique five four three two one and zero I don't really think he developed at any one spot. Um, I think when he gets to Dallas, he's going to be in B-gap and A-gap. I think he really makes babies in A-gap, though. We're going to ask him to uh, do different things. But I want to show you this play first because this was my favorite play. Out of all the plays I watched from all the, all the plays he made, this was my favorite one. He's uh, lined up right here in B-gap. Let's just take a look at him. That's really a 4-I. Wait a minute. Time out. Yeah, that's really a 4-I. Pardon me. Let's take a look at this play, man. Take a look at Christian Covington right here. <clears throat> Like I said, man, Christian's not just a just a body. He's not just some scrub. He's going to come in and give Antoine Woods a hard time. This is what he did. He's going to come off the ball, right? He's going to beat this dude with the hands and quickness. Why are you on the ground, fam? Get up. You're messing up your socks and your shoes, man. Come on. Then you see this puller right here? He's going to beat this puller to the inside. Take him on. Boom. Find the football. Bam. Make the tackle. Ugh. Come on, man. Now, this, now, now, me showing this play is very misleading and highlighty because he doesn't make these plays every single time. Uh, he has to be a little more consistent. I, I want him to kind of trust his hands a little bit more. He really wins with power, power and quickness. He just got to be a little more consistent on that. But this play was just fantastic, man, how he just beat those two guys, find the football, and made the tackle there. Uh, let's keep looking at him. Let me explain this real quick because I'm going to be saying a lot of numbers in this episode and I don't want to lose anybody that didn't know. Um, when I say even numbers, that means they're head up on an offensive lineman. When I say odd numbers, that means they're in this gap. That's the technique that we're talking about. So zero, one, two, three, four. So if I say Christian Covington is a four I, he's lined up over this tackle, which is four, but I is for inside. So he's in the inside kind of shade of this four right here. When I say somebody's a one take, they're in the one zero lined up over the center. Just in case y'all didn't know, I just wanted to say that in case I didn't, I just didn't want to lose anybody. Christian Cubs is in this four eye right here. Take a look at this play, man. He's going to hit this combo right in the mouth and bust wide open, right? Uh, not a double team, but, but this is a combo. He didn't lose any ground, but what I really like about it is that he kept his eyes up the whole time and he found the football. He's really built for these three, four systems, the way he can use his hands, stop people where they are, and find the football. He's really good at two gapping, right? But... When he comes to us, he ain't got to do none of that. We're taking responsibility away from him. He's only going to be responsible for getting upfield. But what I like about him is that he does have his eyes up and he's not giving up any ground on that combo. Finds the running back and he makes the tackle. That's lovely. And I really like when he wins like this. Boy, I like when Christian Covington wins like this. It is so fun to see Christian Covington just be stronger than people, jabbing on the inside, boom, controlling the outside hand, and just strong in people, taking lunch money in people. Get, not this man clothes all dirt. Get off the ground. Just get, get up. <laughs> Second Marcus Mariota. Now, do I think Christian Covington is, gun, is, is going to be giving us valuable pass rush minutes? I don't think so. And that's simply because we got that covered already. Like, if I had to come up with my best pass rushing set, Christian Covington won't be at the top of it. Like, can he give you three or four sacks a year? Absolutely. But I want Tristan Hill on the field. I want to bump. D Law to to three tech or Ty, or, or a Tyrone Crawford to three tech. Put Randy Gregory and Robert Quinn out there. When I start thinking of pass rushes, I'm not necessarily thinking Christian Covington. Now, if I had to if I had to pick which one of my one techs, him or Antoine Woods, which one of my one techs got a little more juice, I would say Christian Covington got a little more juice. But mo most likely nine times out of ten. Uh, Malik Collins is going to bump down from three to one and we're going to put some gangster in there at three tech and we're going to run our ends like we like we normally do. So 
Will he give us value as a pass rusher? I don't think so, but I do think he 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 can give us these valuable these valuable plays versus the run. He could probably give you three to four sacks a year if that, and um he can give you valuable minutes. So we're not just relying on one guy. When Antoine Woods came off the field, Karan Reed went in there. You know what I mean? And that's not necessarily good for us. So when Antoine Woods come off, Christian to come in, or when Christian comes off, Antoine to come in. I think that's just that makes for a for a better D liner when your depth is good too. Here's another example. I love this. Christian is here. Uh, one, two. There you go. Three tech right here. B gap. He's going to come off the ball. And I really like the hands right here. Well, let me show you the play. And then I'll run it back and talk about it because y'all hate when I talk about it before showing the play. All right, cool. When Christian comes off the ball here, I love the use of his hands. Look at those hands, man. Look at those hands. Look at that extension right there. And then he's going to shed that block and find the football. He's finding the football. You can't beat that trait. And what I notice, I notice when the Cowboys acquire players, they all similar. You know, all of our wide receivers are route running yak guys. If you look at our at our D line, we're building this acumen of having D linemen that find the football. OK, there's about one D lineman we got that just doesn't find the football. He liked the wrestle. I'm not going to say his name because y'all hate him already, but everybody else. <laughs> When they come off the ball, they punch people and they extend and they find the ball. That is Christian Covington finding the ball. When you find it, it makes it easy for you to make plays in the run game. Maybe that's why that D lineman that y'all don't like doesn't make plays in the run game because he doesn't keep his eyes up and find the football. Christian Covington does. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. First person that can correctly guess the person that I'm throwing shade at, go in the comments, type that player's name, and I'll, and I'll pin your comment to the top and give you a shout out or something because y'all messy as hell too. Anyway, let's get into this. <clears throat> I really like Christian Covington inside. He really makes babies in here because of his effort, and he does have quickness for the inside, and he's strong, man. You can't beat that. Um, so this is more so me looking at his effort right here, right? We know we know Papa Rod Marinelli loves these effort guys, and it goes back to us drafting players cut from the same cloth. These super efforty guys, these run to the football guys, right? I love those guys. And we see right here, uh, we're gonna rush, 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 rush. Marcus is going to step up and get the ball backside, but we're still going to run and make the play. Now, if Chris, now Christian Covington could have been lazy. He could have been lazy and he could have been back here somewhere. Right? He, he he could have stayed there. But this guy misses a tackle. These guys miss the the uh tackle. Christian Covington actually makes the play here, right? You can't beat that effort. And if we got four guys on the on the uh D line that can make that play, and you know, man, I'm not gonna say Cowboys Super Bowl or nothing like that, man, because that's just gonna be way too clairvoyant for me. But that gets you excited. That we're uh that we're getting all of these guys that can play that also have motors. Here's another one here. Uh the Jets. This no, it's the Dolphins. Yeah, cool. The Dolphins are gonna run this screen. Chris Covington's right here in B Gap. Uh he's going to identify that I beat this guard way too easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 60, uh, 62 kind of just let Christian Covington go. And he identified. You see what I mean? See, see him right there? The, 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 the left guard just kind of let him go. Christian gets up, identifies that he got past that guard way too easy. He's going to get up and retrace his footsteps. He's going to go make a tackle on this running back. Smart football players, effort guys, um, finding the football. Marinetta likes that. And I said all I had to say, really. Uh, I mean, I'm showing you this play because I like, you know, that he made that he made a play versus the Eagles. Uh, welcome to the family, son. We we gonna need you to do a lot of that. So, uh, shouts out to him for that. But that, I ain't I ain't gotta hold y'all too too long, man. That's basically all I gotta say about um, Christian Covington. I, you know, you what you see is what you get, man. I I, I really think. Antoine Woods is going to have to walk in the training camp with his head on a swivel because Christian just ain't going to lay down. Like he's going to give you a good fight and that's going to make Antoine better. And 
as a reaction that's going to make Christian better. And I think we're 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 going to have to keep both these guys. And if we keep both of them and they're making each other better, then you know, we're just going to have two good ass one text or whatever. Like every every player is not going to be like a pro bowl game breaker type of guy or whatever, but if we can get just these complimentary guys that can play really well that we have for the cheap. Um you know, these are the guys that we're going to have to spend small money on because we're we're putting big money on other guys. And uh, I think I think Christian Covington is a pretty good pickup. I'm happy we got him. All right. I ain't going to hold y'all too long, man. Hit the notification bell and like the video. That's all I need from you. If you haven't su- subscribed already, then maybe you just don't want to. And I ain't got to tell you to do so. Some of y'all already sub salute to y'all. Shouts out to Stream Gang. Shouts out to Merch Gang. Uh, I'll probably do a live stream at some point this week. I don't know. I'll let you know. Peace, y'all.